الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. إما بعد، we continue with our daily lessons and today we come to the section that is entitled فضل العلم the virtue of knowledge. Allah the Exalted he has stated قل هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون and say to them are they equal the one who possesses knowledge and the one who does not possess knowledge and he has stated يرفع الله الذين آمنوا منكم والذين أوتوا العلم درجات Allah has raised in stations and degrees those amongst you who possess faith and those amongst you who possess knowledge and he the exalted he stated وقل وقل ربي زني علما and say to them my lord increase me in knowledge and on the authority of Muawiyah may Allah be pleased with him as he has stated that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said whoever Allah intends good for the servant then he will grant him comprehension of the deen he will grant him understanding within the and of the religion. This hadith is mutafaqun alayhi. It is agreed upon. And on the authority of Abu Darda, may Allah be pleased with him, as he states, I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, whoever traverses a path intending to seek knowledge therein, then Allah will make easy for this person a path to paradise. And certainly the angels, they lower their wings for the talib al-ilm, for the disciple of knowledge, out of reverence, respect, and pleasure for what this individual is undertaking. And certainly the learned individual, forgiveness is sought for this person by everything that exists, even the fish inside of the sea. And the virtue of the learned individual over the worshiper is like the virtue of the moon in comparison to the remainder of the stars. And certainly the ulama, they are the inheritors of the prophets. And certainly the scholars, they are the inheritors of the prophets. And certainly the prophets, they do not bequeath dinar nor dirham. They do not bequeath money as an inheritance but rather they leave as an inheritance ilm. They leave as an inheritance knowledge. So whoever takes it has certainly taken an ample portion. This is collected by Abu Dawood as well as a Timurthy. And on the authority of Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, in that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, when the servant passes away, all of his actions are cut off except three. A running charity, an ongoing continuous charity, or knowledge that is benefited from, or a righteous child that supplicates, makes dua for the servant. This is collected by Muslim. Ashah, the explanation, legislative ilm, legislative knowledge holds an immense station within the deen within our faith. And our Lord, he has encouraged the acquisition of knowledge and he has bestowed favor upon the people who seek this knowledge. And he has made the seeking of knowledge from those acts that can bring the servant nearest to Allah in comparison to other acts of worship. He has also made seeking knowledge a means of entrance into paradise. So for this reason, knowledge and learning about Allah, learning about his commandments, learning about his prohibitions, learning about upholding the religion, due to all of this, this holds favor and station with Allah, the glorious and the exalted in this life as well as in the hereafter. So the ulama, the scholars, those that are learned of this knowledge, then such individuals are the inheritors of the prophets. And the prophets, they bequeath to people, they bequeath to humanity legislative knowledge. So whoever takes this inheritance 
has definitely taken an ample portion. And whoever Allah intends good for the servant, then he will facilitate for the servant learning affairs of his or her deen, of his or her religion. Al-Fawa'id points a benefit from the section. Firstly, the virtue of knowledge, the virtue of those who are learned in knowledge, since they are the inheritors of the prophets. Secondly, fiqh in the deen, attaining understanding of the religion, is actually an implication that Allah intends good for the servant. Thirdly, seeking knowledge is a means of entrance into Jannah, into paradise. Fourthly and lastly, and from that which is good for the servant to inherit, or rather to bequeath, to leave as an inheritance is beneficial knowledge. Since when the servant leaves beneficial knowledge as an inheritance for humanity, then his reward for that will continue even after the death of the servant. Hada wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu ala Muhammad and we'll see you next time for our daily lessons. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.